for developing news. We brought you on Eyewitness News this morning. Emergency crews in Warwick rushing to Route 5, Greenwich Avenue, just before 8 this morning. And we've just learned some new information about the victim in this crash. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is working the latest details live in Warwick. Well, that's right. We just got an update from Warwick Police who said the man is in critical condition right now at Rhode Island Hospital. And in the past few hours, several of his neighbors have been walking up this very busy road, as you can see here, saying they just want this to never happen here again. Residents of Greenwich Village Apartments heartbroken to learn one of their neighbors was hit by a car just outside. This was a matter of time. And unless something's done, it's going to continue to happen. We got people crossing in wheelchairs that almost get hit. It's it's a big problem. Warwick police say just after 7:30 Friday morning, a 68-year-old man was found lying in the southbound lanes of Lambertland Highway or Route 5 with a head injury and no pulse. After administering CPR, they rushed him to Rhode Island Hospital in critical condition. The Warwick Police Traffic Division investigation found the man was walking in the area of the crosswalk, crossing from his apartment complex when he was struck by a Hyundai sedan traveling south in the left-hand lane. I heard the bang. And as soon as I got to the top, I seen the guy getting out of his car. Oh, the sun I couldn't see. Oh, my God. Investigators do believe sun glare was a significant factor in the crash. It's unknown if the victim had activated the crosswalk signal before crossing the road. Warwick police added they do not believe distracted or impaired driving were factors in this crash. Be sure to, be sure to stay with Eyewitness News both on air and on our website at WPRI.com all day as we continue to get updates on this investigation and that man's condition. Live in Warwick, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.